a quarter century in orbit, a lopsided star system, new eyes on the heavens, a heritage tug of war, and what's about to light up the sky in the next 10 days. I'm Commander Cooper, and we're go for launch. 25 years ago, humankind unlocked a new address in low Earth orbit. Since November 2000, the International Space Station has hosted a continuous human presence, a quarter century of science, cooperation, and sunrise. More than 270 people from 21 countries have called it home, from the first-time rookies to veteran commanders. Its modules may look weathered, but the station remains one of the most successful international projects in history, a city the size of a football field that never touches Earth. And when the lights eventually dim, its legacy will be the blueprint for every outpost that follows. Astronomers using a groundbreaking photonic lantern telescope upgrade have captured a strange sight, a lopsided gas disk swirling around the nearby star Beta Canis Minoris. The instrument funnels starlight through microscopic optical fibers splitting photons with surgical precision. What they found was no symmetric halo, but a tilted clumped disk, evidence of gravitational chaos and perhaps an unseen planet sculpting its form. It's proof that the new generation of adaptive optics can rival some space telescopes and a preview of how the next decade of observation will look more precise, more portable, and far more revealing. Speaking of sharper eyes, Earth's observatories are entering a renaissance. Ground-based telescopes once lagged behind their orbital cousins, but with photonic lanterns, laser guide stars, and AI-driven deblurring, the gap is closing fast. Imagine Hubble-like clarity from mountaintops in Chile or Hawaii, and upgrades that can be swapped in overnight. These advances cut costs, speed up innovation, and give astronomers the power to chase transient phenomena within hours instead of weeks. In short, the planet itself is becoming a smarter lens on the universe. A quieter story made headlines this week, the proposed relocation of Space Shuttle Discovery. From the Smithsonian's Udvar Hazy Center to a new facility in Texas, the challenge, Discovery's wingspan and the fact that moving it intact might be impossible. Some engineers have floated the idea of partial disassembly, a plan that has stirred passionate debate among preservationists and space flight veterans alike. It's not politics, it's stewardship. A conversation about how we honor the machines that carried us beyond the sky. Whether Discovery stays where it is, or journeys once more, its story reminds us that history itself needs careful handling. And that wraps up this edition of T-Minus Weekly. Thanks for joining me on this journey through space history, today's headlines, and what to watch on the horizon, and what exploration truly demands. If you enjoyed this briefing, be sure to like and comment. Also consider subscribing and sharing. Commander Cooper, out.